year, or do you think it will ultimately reset and you and Dwayne will kind of go back to square one in the time after you get started? I try not to worry about it too much. Just try to play my best in practice every day, learn more in the meetings than I have before, try to get better. In what ways do you feel like you and Dwayne and all the quarterbacks here do make each other better? We, we all talk about, so what happens is the quarterback will go in and we'll stand behind them if they make a mistake. We'll try to help them. We'll see what they see, talk about it, see the defense, talk about the play, all that kind of stuff. What, uh, I'm going to ask about the wall coach, which is kind of the How, What was that like for the team and watching those guys get that? Yeah, nobody de deserves it more than uh, Elijah and, and Meatface. Meatface? Uh, Meatface. That's, okay. that's uh, Zach's nickname. <laughs> that's I, I'm sure you can tell his face is pretty meaty. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, nobody, nobody deserves it more than those guys. They're the hard, some of the hardest workers on their team. I'm glad they got to experience that, and I'm glad we got to experience it with them. What do you feel the best about right now, Joe, about your game? Like, what do you – you're going out there every day feeling like, I feel really good about this. I just feel really good where the offense is at right now. We're all meshing together pretty well, going fast, and uh, I think the offense is really completing itself right now. You might have already answered this, but how did you guys look in the scrimmage on Saturday offensively? Uh, it was okay. Still have a lot of room to get better. How's the deep passing game now with all the guys? Yeah, it's, it's getting a lot better. Um, that was a big emphasis in the spring. It's going to be a big emphasis this season. We won't be able to – where we want to be unless we can complete those and it's getting better. We haven't seen any scrimmages running. About throwing more contested balls, like that's something that you all are working on. What is the message there? I mean, what do they tell you? How do you how do you get better at doing that? Just got to understand where the defender is on the on the receiver and, and throw it where the defender is not. It's pretty simple, and I think we're doing a really good job of that right now. Is that something you obviously you don't want to throw interceptions? You have to train yourself just to kind of figure out when the, the risk is worth it versus the reward. As long as you throw the ball where it needs to be away from the defender, there won't be an interception. The only time you throw an interception on a contested receiver is if you put it in the wrong spot. We keep hearing good things about J.K. Dobbins. What can you tell us about the true freshman running back? Yeah, J.K. is really fast, really strong, and very quick. I think you guys will get to see some of him this year. Good depth there with Mike Weber coming back and J.K. Is is Demario still playing there? Is he playing more H? Or just talk about that running back. Stay out of that here. conversation. But um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike, J.K., Demario, Antonio, they're all really good backs. And uh, we have a lot of depth in that position. For How sure. do you feel about the, the right guard competition? Do you feel good about where the offensive line is? Yeah, all, all three or four of the guys that are competing are competing their, their butts off and playing really well right now. Does it motivate you all to see what Cardale Jones did in 2014 and know that you, know, you guys have to be ready if your time comes? I don't know if it really motivates us, but it makes us understand that we have to be ready when our, our number is called and whenever the time, time comes. How about the receivers? Who has stood out to you at the right scrimmages? Guys, guys like Terry McLaurin and Paris, obviously they're playing really well. And then some young guys like Austin Mack and, and Ben Victor playing their butts off too. I'm excited to see what they're going to do this year. And then obviously Johnny Dixon, he's finally healthy. He's going to have a big year. You mentioned learning leadership from JT, but another thing that he talks about a lot is, is, is film watching. Do you, do you have to learn that when you get to college, you know, going back in and really studying that kind of stuff? I learned, I've learned a little bit, but I kind of knew that in, in high school because my dad being a coach, we always watched film together, and he would always get on me about that. Joe, what is kind of, um, with this quarterback kind of situation here, what is, um, has Dwayne or JT brought anything out of you this fall camp that you just haven't really seen before? Um, I don't know. Maybe my, my competitiveness has increased a little bit just because we have three guys competing their butts off. Um, other than that, I think we all just make each other a lot better and we talk about offense all the time and I think it's really good. What have you seen out of JT kind of with this being his last season here? Has his leadership style kind of shifted? I wouldn't say it's shifted, but he's definitely – he has a sense of urgency about himself. And you can tell that when he practices. The Kevin Wilson effect, I know a lot of fans are excited about him taking over the offense. What can you tell us about? I know you're not getting to secrets, but what can you tell us in general about Kevin Wilson being an offensive yeah, coordinator? Yeah, he's, he's a fiery guy. Sometimes he talks really fast. I can't understand him, but <laughs> he's loud and it gets us going. It sounds like you and Coach Dave have a really tight relationship. I was just talking with him. You said in the spring you really liked working with him. Has that gotten, have you guys gotten even closer and just talking about you guys working together? Yeah, he's gotten me a lot better as a quarterback. He's gotten us a lot, all of us a lot better as quarterbacks, and I'm excited to put it on the field this year. Working with Kevin Wilson, can you see why he has, has this reputation for being an offensive guru? And just is, is there something about the way he plays the clock plays or analyzes defense that, that really has just stood out to you? 
I don't really know what it is, but he's got he's got something going for him, and it's it's helping us and it's helping the entire team. Um, I'm excited to show all the fans and you guys what we're going to do on Saturdays this year. Is it going to be a really different look from this offense, you think? I don't know if it's going to be too much different, but it's definitely going to be intense and we're going to be going fast. Yeah, I was going to say, Tepo is the one thing we keep hearing about that it's going to be a lot faster. Um, comparatively speaking to last year, like how much faster are we talking about, Joe? Um, I don't really know. Hopefully, hopefully we're going fast, but it really depends on how the offense is clicking on the day. It might be slow one day for playing pretty bad. It might be really fast another day for playing playing really good. So we'll see. Folks, we have Chris Worley over here. Joe, I think you were talking about this earlier when I first last over. Last two Could you describe what it's been like for the last few years to be JT's teammate, what you've learned from him, and, and how you've seen him lead your, not only your position group, but, but this team as well? Yeah, I've learned how to be a lot more vocal. Obviously, he's the leader of the team, and, and I try to learn as much as I can from him. But He's more of a teammate. He's one of my best friends. We hang out all the time, so I've learned a lot from him. I, I see, you guys do seem to be close off the field. Like, wh why have you been able to strike up that kind of friendship that goes sort of beyond what you're doing here? We're, we're kind of the same people. We're really weird people, <laughs> like most quarterbacks are. Um, I would say that's the main thing. Weird how? I don't know. We're just weird people. I mean, you've seen the shirts that I have. Yeah. You've seen JT JT's speeches. you got to be pretty weird to do that. Um, I don't know. I guess we're just weird. What are the ways in which you feel like your game is different now after an off season of working with Coach Day? I would say my arm is a lot stronger. My release is a lot quicker. My feet are a lot quicker. Uh, just my mechanics have gotten better in, in general. How hard is that to add arm strength? It's, it seems like obviously you, you can add arm strength, but that would seem like a difficult thing to do just through working out. Just how difficult is that to add arm strength? Um, it's not that difficult if you learn uh, the mechanics of how to throw more efficiently. Before I was not really using my whole body and now I'm using my whole body and that's really what you need to get real arm strength. Hey, Coach, Coach Day came here with a reputation of being a guy with, like obsessed with the quarterback's feet. Is that part of the mechanics yeah. you're talking about? Yeah, I've really learned how, big, how to. How big a part of that? Yeah, it's a, it's a really big part. Before I was just using my upper body and now I've learned how to put my whole body into it. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Joe. Thanks.